Civilization is a word that we throw around quite a bit for various reasons, including being the name of a very popular gaming franchise. But when we boil it down to its core, to have a civilization means to have a group of people coming together under one power or through unity to improve their living situation. One person can do plenty on their own, but a community, a civilization, can move the world as if they've built it themselves. But what's freaky is that there have been ancient and possibly futuristic civilizations that have lived on Earth that were or are more clever than they should have been. With that in mind, here now are the 20 most advanced civilizations that scare scientists. Number 20. The Silurian Hypothesis I'm going to begin with a subject that may seem like people acting nuts about a futuristic civilization, when in truth, it's about scientists thinking outside of the box in order to understand both our own planet and possibly others that may be out there in the universe. The Silurian Hypothesis, which yes, is named after certain aliens from Doctor Who, is about the mystery that could possibly be attached to our own planet and others that are out there. Specifically, the longer that time goes on, the harder it is to find remnants from about 100 million years ago. Yes, we do have fossils and certain other clues, all thanks to things like meteor strikes, but those are not as numerous as you would expect. Plus, fossilization did not happen to every creature from past times, so the question then becomes, what if there was an ancient civilization from hundreds of millions of years ago and we just can't find any clues about it? It's an interesting proposition and something that's been done before in its own way via things like television shows and movies. After all, with climate change, dinosaurs, and other prehistoric beasts running amok, and the natural degradation of materials, it's not an unrealistic theory that an advanced civilization that lived in the time of dinosaurs may have well had all the traces of itself wiped off the face of the earth or even seriously buried. To be clear, the people who came up with this honestly don't believe that this happened, but it is an interesting thing to think about. Plus, they're also using this idea to help come up with technology that could help to determine in the future if there were advanced civilizations on planets that we're wanting to explore. You see, in science, it's not always about finding a rational theory and then trying to build off of it. Sometimes it's simply about saying something rather irrational and then trying to find logical ways of disproving it. And again, given how little that we know about certain periods of history, it could have actually happened. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the fancy topic. If you take a look at this picture, it allegedly comes from Saudi Arabia. Because of this image, people are saying that scientists have just found an untouched civilization in Saudi Arabia. But we say allegedly because, well, there are plenty of places with deserts and sand in the world. Anyways, when you look at this picture, your eyes are immediately drawn to the unique structure in the center. According to the people who posted the photo, this was a remnant of an ancient civilization within Saudi Arabia that had numerous kinds of advanced technology, not the least of which was the processes that were used to build their homes. Now, while we cannot confirm that any of this is true, you could argue that places like Saudi Arabia and other places that I'll talk about soon enough are likely candidates for ancient civilizations being born and then hidden by nature. After all, what happens to sand over time? Well, it becomes dispersed, pushed around, and when placed in just the right way, it can cover some things up. And if you don't believe me, in Namibia, there was once a small town that was built to be part of a mining boom, and when the mining dried up, people left the town, and in only a few decades, the sands of the nearby desert blew in and almost completely buried it. So if this building in question was actually covered in sand and then slowly uncovered, that could mean that others like it exist out there within the sands of Saudi Arabia. The irony is that given how that region is booming with buildings and other construction projects, we could actually find more of these in due time, should they actually exist, of course. As always, you can comment down below using the hashtag FancyTopic 
and let me know your opinion in relation to what I just showed you on the screen. Number 19. Egyptian Civilization Now I'm going to step away from speculation and dive into hard facts and actual civilizations that are actually known about. And what better way to begin than with the civilization that has captivated the minds of many researchers and scholars over the years? Ancient Egypt, specifically focusing on the period from 3100 BC to 30 BC, because it was around 3100 BC that things really began to boom in Egypt. The people there had already been there for thousands of years, but they weren't doing things like making big buildings yet. Instead, they were in villages and probably just struggling to survive. Eventually, they would begin to build their own empire, and everything would change after that. Just based on what you may know from history, you'll know that ancient Egyptians weren't only smart, they were actually brilliant. They used an irrigation system to help get water from the Nile River in order to grow their crops and feed their people, and they were able to also come up with complex writing systems that featured multiple languages, which is why we needed the Rosetta Stone to translate it. Furthermore, they also had such construction processes that they weren't only able to make big buildings in the sand, they were also able to make massive projects like obelisks that towered into the sky, and of course the pyramids and the sphinx. To this day, there are many mysteries about these structures that we don't know about. While there are clues as to how the Great Pyramids of Giza and similar structures were made, nobody really knows the full details. Nor do we know everything about the sphinx and its construction or purpose. Ancient Egypt was truly advanced, and it's scary how good they were at things. Number 18. Mesopotamia Mesopotamia is a place that was apparently so vast, advanced, and abundant that it's kind of become a legend, so much so that some of you probably never even knew that it was an actual civilization. Mesopotamia is the area between the Euphrates and Tigris rivers, north or northwest of the bottleneck at Baghdad in modern Iraq. So it's not exactly a place where you may expect a truly advanced civilization to be in, but it was for quite the time. The problem is that because of broken history and how some people look at ancient cultures, it's really hard to tell fact from fiction at some points. We can say that at one point, Mesopotamia had been broken into two parts, and the northern part was apparently a boon for the advanced culture, while the south was abundant in agriculture due to certain terrain and environmental booms. Now, eventually, they became one nation and it was rather advanced, so much so that there were all kinds of people speaking various languages and helping to contribute to what it became. In fact, it was such a broad civilization that its borders shifted all the time, as did its capital. There are many who would say that things like astronomy and mathematics came from Mesopotamia, but that cannot be fully proven, and just as many would say that came from Babylon. Again, the history of Mesopotamia is murky at best, but that might be what also makes it so enticing to think about. Because if it was real, and if it was able to be all that we say it is, then there was a superior civilization in the middle of the desert, and they were thriving until they weren't. Which in many ways is both real and fictional, and is the story of all civilizations. Number 17. The Parthian Empire Many of you likely have never even heard of the Parthian Empire, and that's okay, because it was in a period where other empires were shining much more brighter than they were. That all being said, it was still a rather robust place to be. It was mainly located in what is now known as Iran, a certain surrounding nations, and at its height, the Parthian Empire stretched from the northern reaches of the Euphrates in what is now central eastern Turkey to present-day Afghanistan and western Pakistan. Thanks to its location on the legendary Silk Road, the empire became a trading mecca and used that to its advantage in numerous ways. For example, it used that interaction with the numerous other empires and nations to gain certain cultural and technological insights that they used to grow even further. And while they had only lasted a few hundred years, they still had a good run and influenced a lot of things during their period in history. Number 16. The Persian Empire The Persians had an empire that has been remembered for many things, which includes being the reason a certain other empire had started, but I'll get to them a little later. The version I'm talking about lasted from 559 BCE to 331 BCE and had Iran, Egypt, Turkey, and parts of Afghanistan and Pakistan within its grasp. That's quite the hold on the Middle East and Africa. 
But here's where the fun twist comes into play. The one who started the empire, Cyrus the Great, was a very merciful and clever ruler. He would spare the leaders of the places he conquered so that they could help him to rule over the people with less force and more kindness, which is probably not what you would expect. Plus, the Persians were the ones who had helped to connect Europe, Asia, and Africa through roads and communication devices, and they even made the very first postal service. So what happened to them? Well, they eventually tried to expand into the wrong nation, and a certain other great had brought them to their knees as a result. Number 15. Teotihuacan Civilization Not to be confused with an empire that I'll talk about later, this is a city that is still around today and in Mexico. The reason I'm talking about it is that it's clear that an advanced civilization had made the city and all of the things that are inside of it. We just have no idea who those people were, which is pretty odd. It was founded as early as 400 BC, though the largest structures of the city were not actually completed until around 300 AD, which means that there were people there building it up and showcasing their love of both architecture and religion based on relics that were left behind. It's said that 200,000 people lived in the city at its peak. So, who built it and where did they go? Well, that's the thing, nobody truly knows. Number 14. Kerma Culture Something that has to be said about empires is that at any given moment in history, there could have been multiple powerful empires within the world. It wasn't only the one-to-rule-them-all scenario, even if it did eventually become that way in a sense. For example, the Kerma culture was an empire that was in what we now know to be Sudan. It was built up and absorbed certain other empires within the area, and it became its own thing. The problem was that this empire was around during the same time as one of the main kingdoms of Egypt, and a fierce rivalry had brewed. Eventually, Egypt absorbed the Kerma, but the Kerma people rebelled so often and eventually became the Kingdom of Kush. That's a pretty unique history, and one that sometimes gets overshadowed by Egypt's reign. However, in the end, they were able to make the best empire out of it. Number 13. Ancient Greece The Greeks are another classic ancient civilization that people love to talk about, and for all the right reasons, most of the time. Greece is the bedrock of many things that we have in the modern world, which includes being the birthplace of democracy. They were also key people in the realm of philosophy, construction, war, and more. The irony is that while they are talked about in a unified sense, they weren't exactly a unified nation for very long. Now, those who know the story of the 300 know that Greece was a bunch of city-states, which popular ones being Athens and Sparta, but it wasn't until the Persian Empire had tried to take them that various forces had brought them together, and that would eventually give rise to Alexander the Great. Under his leadership, Greece had spread all throughout Europe and Asia, toppling nations and bringing others into their fold. Not to mention, as we'll note later, their influence would affect the world for many generations to come, Greece may not be as powerful as it was back then, but their influence is still felt today. Between Greek mythology, the Olympics, democracy, and more, we do owe quite a bit to the ancient Greeks. Number 12. The Mayan Empire One could very easily make the argument that of all the empires on this list, the Mayan Empire is easily one of the most interesting and most mysterious. They were also rather expansive. For at their peak, they had cities in southeastern Mexico, Guatemala, and Belize, as well as sections of Honduras and El Salvador, which is why we are still discovering their ruins even to this day. As for how advanced they may have been, their cities alone were something to be marveled at, which is why they're famous tourist attractions in the modern day, and they made key advancements in astronomy, mathematics, and agriculture. Obviously, the most mysterious thing about this so-called advanced civilization is that despite all of their technology, their people, and their reach, they simply vanished without a trace. I mean, they were here one minute and then gone the next. And unlike others on this list, there weren't clear signs or historical records of things that had caused their downfall. If there was a war that wiped them out, it's odd that their cities are still standing today. If it was disease, we would have probably found more bones of their people, and if they had simply left their kingdoms, there's no clear reason as to why they did that or where the empire went to. As such, people today can only speculate as to what happened to the Mayan Empire, and we're likely never going to know the full and true answer. 
Number 11. Ancient Imperial China Here's one where we definitely need to put some dates on things because China has been an advanced civilization for quite some time, even when it wasn't the unified nation that we know China to be now. As a result, we're focusing on the period between 2070 BC and AD 2020 because it was during that period that, for the most part, China was still a set of city-states, if you will, not unlike the Greeks, but that also led to various advancements in both technology and philosophy. For example, the dynasties that ruled during that time had a mandate of heaven, which led them to treating the people with respect versus just seeking power. Writing within this period evolved in such a way that its techniques were used for centuries afterwards, and men like Confucius would help to guide the people in a lot of ways. They also made the Great Wall during that time, but eventually, by 221 BC, the scattered parts of the nation came together and China was born. It's been thriving as a singular country ever since. Granted, what it's like right now is not exactly something the old emperors would have approved of, but that's a discussion for another time. Number 10. The Roman Empire As we dive into our top 10, it's fitting that we talk about one of the most dominant periods of European and Asian history, where Rome had dominated the world. From 750 BC to AD 470, they were one of the most powerful empires to ever exist, and yes, they were an advanced civilization that had astounded many, which includes many to this day. And the longevity of the period I'm talking about proves that they were advanced enough to hold on to their power until literally being ransacked. What may surprise you the most, though, is that unlike certain other civilizations, the Romans were not exactly afraid to take ideas from other cultures and then build upon them. They borrowed from the likes of the Greeks, the Egyptians, and more, and that would help them to lead to their technological advantages. Plus, they were really clever by writing a lot of things down and made the world's first encyclopedia. But don't get me wrong, when they put their minds to it, they could do just about anything they wanted to do. Making a vast legion of armies that could conquer just about anyone, well, they did that. Making large-scale projects like cities, the Colosseum, and more, yep, they did that in spades. Creating certain medicines, weapons, and more to further their rule over the world, happily did it and then gloated about it later. That's not to say that every invention they did was grand. They did have some really bad stuff that they did to make things better. Plus, we should not forget that Rome was one of the most corrupt empires in history, and they relished the fact that they had higher class, hordes of slaves at their command, and more. They were so corrupt that they eventually collapsed from within, and that would lead to the Visigoths ransacking Rome and ushering in a new era. Number 9. The Indus Valley Civilization Now we'll head to the Bronze Age. The Indus Valley Civilization existed from 3300 BCE to 1300 BCE, and it existed alongside two other major civilizations from that period in both Egypt and Mesopotamia. The cities of the ancient Indus were known for their urban planning, baked brick houses, elaborate drainage systems, water supply, clusters of large non-residential buildings, and techniques of handicraft and metallurgy. If not obvious by now, the ancient people of the world, they knew how to build things. For example, one of their most famous cities, which was hailed as one of the world's earliest major cities, features about 40,000 people living there in its prime, and it was only abandoned after the civilization had declined. However, it was rediscovered in the 1900s and eventually became a UNESCO World Heritage Site, ensuring that it will be preserved and protected for a long time to come. Number 8. The Sumerian Civilization while often tied to ancient Mesopotamia, the Sumerian civilization was its own thing in its own right and technically became an empire before Mesopotamia existed. In fact, many would cite that the civilization was the first true human civilization in history, which means that it definitely deserves a place on this list. What did they do before anyone else? Well, they made advances in farming, textiles, wrote poetry, learned how to manage cattle, and believe it or not, they also had beer. The Sumerian language is one of the oldest linguistic on record, which is fascinating when you consider how many famous languages have been born all throughout history. Whether it was art, architecture, science, medicine, the Sumerians had a hand in everything. So, what happened to them then? Well, like many civilizations, they fell to a rival. In this case, it was the Babylonian Empire, but they still made their mark on history, as has been proven. 
Number 7. The Incan Empire The Incas are another unique and mysterious civilization that honestly shouldn't have gotten as big and advanced as they were, and yet they did. Located primarily within Peru, they were able to build incredibly advanced cities such as Machu Picchu, which still mystifies people today with how perfectly laid out it is. Equally as curious, they didn't have a writing system. Instead, they used pictures and other techniques to relay things and keep track of things like purchases. The Incas made advancements in many fields and ensured that there was safe travel between their many cities. Now I'm getting onto the train after a lot of rushing around to get here on time. It's almost odd to think that they could be brought down so quickly, and yet there they were. Not for what you may think. It was numerous diseases from Europe that would lay them out, as the people had no immunity to them, and that actually became the plight of many new civilizations that had never encountered such things before. Number 6. The Ancient Aztecs now, I've talked about a lot of classic cultures, but I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about one of the most famous, that being the Aztecs. Like pretty much every other major civilization, they did not begin as an empire. In fact, many felt that they were just a bunch of nomads before they finally settled down and made something truly grand that's still talked about today. From their magnificent capital city, they emerged as the dominant force in central Mexico, developing an intricate social, political, religious, and commercial organization that brought many of the region's city-states under their control by the 15th century. Considering the smarts and determination it would have taken to make all of that, and then bring it all together to make an empire, it's pretty scary to think about how they did it hundreds of years ago before advancements in technology. Now fast forward a century, and their empires had millions of people attached to it, but sadly their empire eventually fell. Cortes came along, and while the Aztec army was mighty, Cortes and his men were well-trained, better armored, and had better weapons. Plus, they brought disease with them from Europe that decimated the population. After Cortes had his victory, he then burned the city down and rebuilt Mexico City in its place. That kind of sours the grandness of it now, doesn't it? You also have to remember that Montezuma did get his revenge by giving Cortes and his men diarrhea. Number 5. The Etruscan Civilization Here's another civilization that you might not have known about, but they were significant for quite a time, even if it was mainly because of who absorbed them later on. The Etruscan Civilization was located in Italy, and not unlike the Greeks or China at one point, they were a bunch of city-states that covered a certain area of the country. The culture was renowned in antiquity for its rich mineral resources, and as a major Mediterranean trading power, in many empires' cases, location was everything, and it also helped the civilization to thrive. But what happened to them? Well, it's simple. They were within reach of Rome, and when Rome declared war, they rarely lost. Not only did they absorb the civilization, but they also took many of their cultural aspects for themselves. Number 4. The Oregnosian Culture This next one is a bit different from the others I've talked about, as this culture was from about 43,000 to 26,000 years ago, so way before any of these other civilizations ever came to life. By that period of history, humans had been evolving, and they were making tools and art that we're still finding today. It, it, the original, uh, which is about 30,000 years old. The Oregnosian culture was a period of that development that turned up some very interesting pieces of tool making and art that shows their advancement. For example, they were able to make an engraving tool that helped them to make refined art. They also made pendants, bracelets, ivory beads, as well as three dimensional figurines, which is not bad for a primitive kind of human. Number 3. Carthaginian Empire Here's an empire that many of you likely know about in one form or another. The Carthaginian Empire, aka Carthage, had a big hold on the world in ancient times. The city of Carthage itself was so large that it was one of the biggest cities in the world at its peak. One of the reasons it grew so large was because it was perfectly placed on fertile land and had access to water to become a major trade city. Sadly, though, it would be Rome that would bring the empire to its knees. The Punic Wars are a key part of history, given how Rome had risen afterwards, and they not only burned Carthage to the ground, but destroyed many of its records, so we can never truly know how impressive the empire really was. Number 2. The Hellenistic Period 
Now, there's another key piece of Grecian history that has to be talked about, and it comes after the time of Alexander the Great. A Hellenistic period is the period between Alexander's death and the death of another popular figure in Cleopatra. Anyway, thanks to the efforts of Alexander, Greece had gained almost unparalleled influence in the world. His establishment of Rhodes and more would lead to Greek language and culture being brought to nations all over the place, prosperity and progress in the arts, literature, theater, architecture, and many more things, and plenty of things that we'd now take for granted including the birth of certain kinds of comedy and philosophy that were made during this era. One can only imagine what it may have been like living in this time and the creativity and nuance that was born there. However, what we do know is who to blame for the period coming to the end, again being the Romans. They tried to conquer Egypt, Cleopatra killed herself rather than become a prize for their ruler, and things continued as Rome had demanded. Number 1. The Minoan Civilization Everything has a first, and in terms of European civilizations, most people would agree that the Minoans were its first. Located on the island of Crete, the Minoan civilization developed during the Bronze Age and was able to use advanced techniques to separate it from the other groups of people that were in the world. For example, they were able to use their architecture skills to create massive palaces that are still being debated to this day in terms of all that they were used for. They were known for their art techniques like helping make pigments that would stick to pottery and walls that they painted on. And as for what happened to the civilization, the nearby Greeks had helped to create a hybrid culture, and it was due to this that they were forgotten for many eras until eventually being rediscovered. That's all from the realm of civilizations that may have been more advanced than they should have been given the history that we know. Have you been amazed by these civilizations? And which one amazed you the most? Let me know in the comments section down below, and I'll see you next time.